Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back again. So in this video, I'll show you how to implement pagination in the Django REST framework. So without further ado, we are getting started right now. You get so right there now. I'm gonna I'm go down to your I'm gonna I'm going to go down to my code here. So we need to do some importing. So we're gonna import the pagination class. So now we're doing that just from here. So I, I need to, let me take this up. I need to clean up this so that it's gonna look good in the stand. So so now simply say from rest framework from rest framework rest underscore framework dot pagination i'm going to import page number page number pagination so that's it there so now we're going to come down here to the view so once to add pagination to our product view understand so just come down here and add a pagination class so we're gonna say pagination class pagination class underscore class should be equal to so that should be page number pagination we imported so this is it now something you've done this I need to add one more settings in our settings of pi file understand so right now we need to go down to, to the settings of pi file so here our settings of pi file open it now so i'm going to create a new i need to add something just at the bottom here so i'm going to call this it's called rest underscore framework and it's done rest framework so now it's going to be equal to a dictionary and that dictionary is going to hold something it's going to say page size so these are pagination page size we are going to implement that in the settings of pi file so it's called page size, page underscore size. That should be let's I'm gonna call my I'm I'm gonna set mine to three. Let's set three. Go down to the browser. Let's run the server again. Okay, the server is trying to come up. Okay, the server is currently running. So don't worry about this error. Don't worry about it. It's not really it's not really really it's not really important. Just don't worry about this. Don't worry about the warnings. There's not an error, it's a warning it gets. It's not really important. So the browser now refresh the page. Okay. Okay. Oh well, you can see right now, you can see we have pagination now on this product's view. And so if we check closely, you can see we have this count. This count simply represents the number of products we have. It says we have 29 products on this on this on our server understand so first so this is this is this is this is the link to the next page this is the link to the next page if you check to see we have the previous the previous is currently null it's currently null because we are on the first page so i'm going to go down to page two so currently we're on page two you can see each page sells us three products that's because in the settings of pi fi i set the page size to three understand so that's why it's like that you understand so you can see this is our this, this you can see here this nest you see here is for the next page the previous now points to the previous page we came from you understand so this is how it is these are these are to implement pagination your django in, in django rest framework so i really hope you understood what i did here so to, to follow along this series Go and check the previous episodes. We are currently on this is currently episode seven. So go and check the previous episode so you can follow along and learn. You understand? So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Smash the subscribe button. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. Say something in the comment section. I want to hear from you. I love you all. I love you all plenty. Thank you so so much.